Hello, everybody. Welcome back to virtual training tips number two, training tips and workouts at home for your clients during this terrible time we're all going through. But you know what? It's terrible and good things are going to come out of this terrible things. That's the way we've got to look at it, uh, make things happen and, and, you know, think outside the box. So that's what we're trying to share with everybody. Again, welcome back. Let's get right into this. Uh, we had a lot of questions over the last weeks. So I want to cover those really, really quick. Our Spotlight app that we brought out uh, in one of the earlier segments was XFit. What was XFit again? It's a great app. It's an app that I've been personally working with uh, for the last year, you know, just working with them, really getting to know how it works, getting to know Etienne, who's behind, you know, the whole platform and, you know, sharing a lot of back and forth with him. And uh, like we said earlier, this was one of the apps that we were going to introduce to everybody come summertime. But given the circumstances, I myself started doing a lot of work with this app so we presented it uh in segment one a little bit of refresher on it because a lot of questions came in what exactly does xfit allow us to do let me bring it over really quick uh one second and of course i'm going to bring it in uh, later when we go through this week's workouts that we've prepared for you it's a platform the way that i like to use it the most the way that we showed all of you how to use it the most was for the exercise bank properties it's got over 8,500 exercises in there, including yoga, including stretching, which a lot of questions came in. So yes, all these workouts are in there. So if you're by chance a yoga instructor, you have workouts in here that you can prepare and give to your clients and use. If you're a, an aerobics, a step class instructor, you've got all that stuff in here. What is really, really per uh, pertinent to our presentation, our meeting, is that through our partnership with XFIT, if you're using this platform and you're going to create exercise workouts for your clients, especially right now at home time, we we have been able to create a platform under our guide, under our heading NFPT that if you put NFPT in exercise library, so far we have a hundred exercises in there that we've been creating together with XFIT as at home workouts to do. They weren't in here before. So this is a great starting uh, point, you know, to start creating workouts for people. And then of course you have the other you know, 8,200 and so forth. So let me get this out of the way. Um, back to basics. XFIT has given us 30 days of free trial instead of seven. So if, you, if you're a general public and you go to XFIT.com and you want to register and start using this platform, you're only going to have seven free days. Then after that, you, you know, you have to have put your credit card in there and the credit card is going to start billing you monthly. Now, what XFIT's done is there's no credit card insertion. It's 30 days you know, free in there. And all you have to do is type this specific, you know, code up here, what we have on the screen, x.fit forward slash webinar dash NFPT. You put that in there and you're going to get the promotion. 40% off on all pricing afterwards, after this 30 day free trial. So that's a really, really great platform to use for everybody. And I'm going to rehearse it a, a little bit again today. And you're going to see how the workouts that we're doing this week are already in that platform. Okay, getting that out of the way, moving forward to the next thing we have on here, recapping the checklist. This is some of the things that, you know, were questioned. Some of the things that I've encountered personally when, when I had to, you know, just sit here, stop traveling and start working, you know, with all of my accounts and, and with all the trainers that we work with. I, I had to get, you, you know, used to some of this stuff. Uh, so Angie, I want to bring Angie on really quick because she's got a lot of, you know, she gets most of all that stuff back at the office and, and I get some of it, you know, myself, but you know, that way she can help us out a little bit with the recapping of the checklist. Angie, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Thank awesome. you. Yeah. Thank you uh, for having me on real quick. I just want to go through the recapping of the checklist as well. Um, add a few notes and takeaways um, regarding things like lighting your platform, what's going on in the background of you, um, that sort of thing. So I want to first say don't stress um, about not having the most sophisticated system, not having the, uh, the best lighting or a camera person working your video. Um, this is a learning as you go and getting better as you go kind of process. So yes, do the best that you can with it. Make sure, obviously, first things first, that you have enough room um, and that your area is clean and you're presenting yourself well in that regard. But, um, but be vulnerable to the learning process and be honest with your clients, letting them know that, hey, I'm learning this along with you. Um, and you're really going to harvest more respect from your clients and more relatability um, by letting them know that this is something that you're learning too. So, so don't, don't stress too much about it. And don't, again, try to start with the most sophisticated uh, apps or platforms. 
and that sort of thing when uh, using video or virtual online training. And that's another thing we love so much about Hexfit is because though it is a very sophisticated tool, it's super easy to use. Um, so it's, it's a very user friendly app. And, and by the way, um, if you didn't get the, the UR, <coughs> excuse me, the URL, um, we'll also send that to you again. There you go. Um, but you can also get it from our website as well, just nfpt.com. So you can get to this a number of different ways, so no worries. Um, and I believe that the monthly fee even after the first 30 days is like less than $20 a month with that 40% off. So, and I'll, and I'll bring um, that up, Angie, really quick right here, just to not, not cut you off, just so that everybody sure, yeah, this, please. We have everything right up here on the, on the top, right? Trainer resources, online training and virtual fitness programs. Everything is right here. Everything we did in webinar one is right there. So if, if, mm -hmm. if don't quite remember how to build the programs. You can watch me do it there because I'm not going to go through the whole thing today. I'm just going to show you the ones I built. And then what Angie's referring to right here, you know, webinar two, I mean, everything that we're, we're providing to you live, you can go through it again and again, you know, and again to make sure that nothing is left out. No, nothing right. is, is left untouched in, you know, in order for you to be very successful with this. Yes, exactly. Yes. It's all going to be on that page. Um, pre and post webinar. So you'll get resources that'll help you through the web webinar topics and what we've discussed um, this time or the time before or in the future. Um, so definitely hit the website, go to the resources tab and check that out. Uh, the first webinar, I did mention some things about just remembering who you are, remembering that you are an accountability partner, uh, that you're someone that gives your clients a reason, a reason to move, a reason to get up and do this, you know, not a YouTube video, um, which is, it's good to have pre-recorded material. I, I have nothing, you know, bad to say about that. I mean, we're using pre-recorded, you know, or YouTube videos to do workouts at home too. Um, but your clients need you, they need you personally, you're their asset. Uh, so don't forget, the kind of um, resource that you are and the value that you bring to the relationship. So, and I had mentioned before too, that, you know, Felix gave me a reason to uh, put a, well, it's not a button down shirt today, but it was last time. Um, give, give someone a reason, give someone a reason to move, give someone a reason to smile. Um, you're that, you're your asset, you're your biggest act, asset. So again, when you're doing your actual video presentation, um, work through the kinks with your client or even beforehand, maybe a friend or family member. Uh, do the Zoom call or FaceTime, whatever platform you're going to be using. Um, try that. Do a test run with somebody that's not your client. Uh, make sure that the lighting is sufficient. Uh, make sure that your area is clean. And, you know, put a little bit of yourself um, in the presentation area. Um, who doesn't look at what's going on behind the subject? We all do doesn't matter what kind of video or even pictures, you know, Facebook photos or as you're trolling Facebook or whatever, you're looking at what's going on behind the individual. Um, so make sure that you are uh, making that purposeful. Uh, if you're a Cubs fan, throw the, a Cubs flag behind you or something. If you have this favorite piece of art, you know, make sure you're doing it on that wall where you're showing the art, you know, or something, um, because that could be a good icebreaker. Or it could be something that you know, your clients feel even more uh, relate or they relate even more to you because of what they're getting to know from you. Um, so and note too, last but not least, and I think this is probably the most important, um, is that you only need your fans, your followers, especially right now. We get a lot of questions about, um, well, how do I market online personal training? How do I market my services in the virtual sense a virtual training service? You know, um, we're going to get to that. We're going to talk about that in uh, the fourth part of the series. But really, it's important to be loyal to your loyals um, because if you invest in them now, they invest in you later. They've all they've been investing in you. Um, so make sure that you're keeping um, your focus on the clients that you're already working with. Don't try to go from zero to a hundred with this. You know, just. Um, focus in on your, your, your clientele and your base right now, and then start adding to it. You're learning new things. We all are. Um, so just don't make this a time where you feel like 
you have to get out there and start marketing right now because, you know, strike while the iron's hot kind of thing. You are striking while the iron's hot with the people that already know you, that already like you, um, that already want to work with you because of you. Um, so don't worry about going out there and trying to teach or show or uh, demonstrate your value to people who don't know you yet. Uh, keep that, keep that focus with the clients and with the loyals that you have now. Okay. I think it's time to build an actual workout using some, uh, items around your house. And how do we get creative with this Felix? All right. And so guys, here you have it in, in a nutshell, you know, everything that Angie said is, is probably a whole lot more than what we wrote on here. So use the little four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bullet points as reminders, uh, and keep at heart everything that Angie shared with us. Cause it, it really, takes what we wrote in nine bullet points really to another level, you know, keep it personal, you know, don't freak out and you're going to have kinks. You know, I have kinks all the time. I had a kink in one, you know, the Wi-Fi and uh, over the, the uh, a phone I was using out there kept going in and out. And some of you could hear me and, and, and some couldn't, you know, but like I said, when I got back to the desk, you know, as long as you got to see what I was doing, we can kind of fill in the blanks with what, was being said and not so what I did this week was uh, okay I, I learned from that you know I don't want you guys to be sitting there trying to hear what I'm saying or not just because my phone isn't connected to an ethernet cable and I've got to be dependent on wi-fi and of course since I'm not looking at the phone I'm in front of the camera with the phone you know screen going the other way so that I can get the best picture I can't see if somebody's seeing me or not so that was something we learned in a virtual uh, tip number of week, home workout number one. So what did I do this week? I not only built some really cool workouts uh, with, with these workouts, I went ahead and, and prepared for that not happening. So we pre-recorded these workouts so that now, as soon as I kind of just show you the pit, little pictures of it and so forth and how we got it done up on exit, I can just hit play and I don't have to worry about anybody not being able to hear me makes sense. And, and that's the way we're all going to learn from this and clients understand that. So you, you know, don't, don't sweat it. As long as your clients know you're putting your best effort into it, everything works out fine. So this week's workout, number one, I got two workouts this week, workout one and number two for this week, for this first workout, I filled up a suitcase. Uh, I filled up a suitcase as we, I was getting a lot of, uh, you know, increase myself from uh, some, some of the trainers that I work with that train athletes and, have clients where they're, they're training them and they've been training them in these cool personal training zones, you know, functional zones in a lot of gyms these days that have tires and they're flipping and jumping, you know, and suspension straps are hanging on, on racks. You know, I said, you know what, let's put something together that may mimic to the best we can an at home workout that simulates that type of functionality. And here it is a suitcase filled with magazine books and flyers and a suspension strap. So the way this workout got designed, this week's suitcase flip and push up was my number one. So you kind of just, you know, and you'll see me do it in a second. You flip the push up, you get a uh, suitcase, do a push up, get up, kind of like a little burpee type of thing, and go back into there. From there, we're going to do a suitcase clean, which is something that we generally do with a bar, uh, maybe with a dumbbell. Kettlebells are very, very common with this. So that this actually adds a cool little variety to it because it's, it's an object that's not very symmetrical at all. It's oddly shaped, you know, you've got a handle weird on one way. So this is actually even more functional if you look at it that way than something that's made for you to do it in a gym. This is what you would have to do. You know, it, technically, it, you're getting on a plane and you're trying to put your carry on overhead and you'd be surprised how many times I get on a plane. I get, I, you know, yearly, I have about a good 60 flights a year. That's my travel schedule. And I'll tell you what, it, it never, you know, seems seems to amaze me where I'm already in my seat and somebody comes in with a carry-on and they look young and healthy and fit and they can't get the carry-on overhead. So it's like, how does that even happen? Loss of functionality. So here it is. This is a great exercise to teach your clients. Look, this is, you know, part of everyday living. You get on a plane with that carry-on, you better be able to at least get this first part of the movement up to then be able to get it overhead. That, that's an example of the way we can teach. So a suitcase clean is number two. Then from there, since we've already worked a little bit of triceps here and a little bit of biceps there, we can go ahead and tackle those small, you know, synergist muscles with a bicep curl and a suspension strap and a tricep extension. From there, we're going to go right into lower body and you'll see me perform all this really, really quick. So I'm going to breeze through these clip arcs because uh, they're already in your XFit uh, platform. And there it is. There's the workout as we designed it. If I bring XFit over, let me bring them over one more time. 
you'll see that if I go into exercise bank and I hit, and I believe I already have it in there, FBT, let's, there it is. Look right there. There's the, there's the suitcase flip and push up uh, and little things like that. So, you know, like I said on our meeting number one, and I'm going to repeat again here, any of you that have a really cool exercise that's not in here that I haven't thought of, please send it over, send it to me or to Angie. Let's get it in here. Let's get the, the rest of our peers uh, involved, you know, and, and share great knowledge with one another. Cause you know, I don't know everything. I know what I'm teaching you right now, but I don't, you know, aside from that, I think it's, it's, you know, a family of all of us together sharing thoughts that really gets everybody learning more. That's, you know, that's the way I've always considered it. So anyway, we got the workout here. I, I wrote it with all the little clip art, you know, we got it into the system. So now let's take a look at what it looks like with me trying to perform this live. So let me go ahead and go ahead and, play, and hit play. I'll be quiet now because I, recorded this live so you're going to be able to hear me uh speaking over here so let me go ahead and hit play hello everybody this is let me see play. where we're at okay let me bring this down really quick and get another clip in here because that was the wrong one <laughs> so <laughs> give me a second everybody boom, boom, boom let me get out of here and and you're gonna probably kill me now <laughs> no you're good um I actually, oh, <laughs> this, this is an example of one of these glitches that we're talking about, but what a cute face. So I wouldn't, wouldn't rather nice. have a, a, another kind of glitch, but um, I can mention too that that's something that we also love about the HexFit app and the people that we work with at HexFit um, is the fact that we can ask them for customization and they'll turn that around like no problem. Um, and generally within just a few days. So like Felix said, if there is anything that you would like to see, um, as part of the in-home based exercise programming design, let us know. Uh, we were asked about the yoga portion of that and there are well over a hundred uh, yoga movements and poses available to you. So, and note that we don't just promote these companies, these apps, we use them. Um, and this is not something that we, we use as a profit generating source. This is something that we actually bring to you as a potential profit generating source. Um, so to supplement your income, um, we actually partner with different companies, and organizations that give you an outlet uh, for you know, making some additional revenue right now when it's most needed. Uh, so this is not something that we're trying to sell to you. We're not sales pitching you. Um, we really legit use, um, as Felix was describing, uh, we use these platforms on a daily basis. And our trainers are already using these platforms and these products and these tools that we're going to continue to bring to you. So did I stall long enough? <laughs> um, I've not just a, a stall okay I've got, um, 63 <laughs> seconds per what this computer is telling me on oh the I, last I got 63 panel. more um, seconds you're good <laughs> okay um how about when you get up in the morning and you tell yourself I'm going to make today a good day okay we have to do that purposefully every single day and and the first webinar I know I'd mentioned um, that positivity is purposeful because it really is. Uh, I don't know a whole lot of people who wake up in the morning and they're just like, they're doing cartwheels out of bed. Maybe you do Felix or your wife does. I'm sure she's amazing like that, but, uh, <laughs> but I, I know I don't. And, you know, I have to take on the day saying, um, I'm going to meet this goal today. I'm going to do this today. And if I don't, um, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. So don't beat yourself up over this. You know, if you're not getting this the first time around, if you're trying this virtual training thing and it's not working for you first time around, that's okay. You're only going to get better with practice. Uh, so my, okay, I'll use a personal example. My daughter's been dancing all her life, right? And when all the dance studio, her dance studio and everything shut down, uh, she couldn't go in and dance any longer. So her instructor had to get creative. And I don't see this any differently than for personal training. Um, she did a Zoom class at the same scheduled time 
that the dance classes were to start. So she didn't change up the schedule. She said, you know, for, we meet at six o'clock in the evening, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for this lyrical class. And we're going to still do that every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I think that keeping a same schedule, a same routine, if that's doable for your clients, um, is actually in your best interest because they're already used to, I'm working out at this time with you. So stick to that. You know, they know that I get with you Monday, Wednesday, Friday at three 30. Um, we'll stick to that schedule. So, so anyway, um, I think that the biggest, uh, point that I'm trying to make is that don't, don't sell yourself short, but don't also don't, um, don't think that, things are just going to happen. I see you don't think that things are just going to happen innately um, because you're trying, I mean, or because you want them to um, you, you have to give, you get what you give. Um, and so in order to get out of this, what you give into it, it's going to take practice. It's going to take time. Um, and it's going to take patience for all of us. It's been taking a lot of patience just to be at home. And if you all are e-learning and you know what I mean, um, I think we're ready. It took a lot of patience for me to sit here and do this. Patience. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've heard like if you're, uh, you pray for patience and then you get stuck behind a, a train and then you're mad because there's a train or something, you know, it's like, hey, I'm trying to teach you some patience. Okay, so cool. with that, here we go. We don't have to be patient any longer. Okay, so you can see my screen with yes. the right video now. That's right. That's what happens when you make 20 videos a week and they have to go to 20 <laughs> different people. <laughs> Uh, we got there. It's all but good. we got it. Okay, so let me hit play now. The now I can talk on the video and I can drink some water over here. Yeah, <laughs> or coffee. I've had too much. On the PowerPoint, sitting back at there. The we go. The office. This is what I recorded yesterday to eliminate any glitches in technology happening in today's uh, in today's uh, you know broadcast. So I'm doing this right now. That way, okay. you know, you guys can see me now on the live presentation and it's not recording, I can narrate as I need. So like I was saying, and like we saw in the examples already, today I'm showing everybody how to perform a workout at home with two pieces of equipment. <laughs> <laughs> this is practical learning, oh, people. Lord. Hey, really? This is really? what happens, okay? Yeah. So <laughs> we're showing you the real deal. We've just lifted the curtain up a little bit, you know, like, hey, um, we're real people on the end of this. This happens. And maybe we're just that much more relatable now. <laughs> Imagine that. And I have the fastest Comcast in the <laughs> office. Oh, uh, figures. <laughs> well, we can take two. Okay, everybody. So like I was saying on the PowerPoint, sitting back at the, sitting back at the core and I can narrate as I need. So like I was saying, and like we saw in the examples already, today... I'm showing everybody how to perform a workout at home with two pieces of equipment and it's standard, you know, that's stuff that anybody can have at home, which is a suitcase. And we already talked about the suitcase a little bit. So I got a suitcase right here. This is one of my suitcases. I have a bunch of books and everything in here. I threw it on the scale. It weighs 48 pounds. So nice, decent load on this suitcase. We're going to do some flips with this. We're going to do some cleans. We're also going to work with a suspension exercise system. Like I explained also, there's a ton of suspension exercise products out there. There's over 20 of them out there. One of my favorites, and that's because I took a lot of part in helping out this company when they started off, is the SPT. Now, this model that I have here in my hand, this is actually a prototype they were going to launch years ago, and they never did. And there's actually 15 of them uh, at the office. Uh, I got a hold of them yesterday. Uh, in order to you know promote this a little bit and help you guys out okay what what happened i have no idea <laughs> okay everybody so like i was jumping back oh. there's nothing at the store we days. have a so we're trying to give everybody crazy internet okay technical That's difficulties the exercise of this work you already saw it on the powerpoint slides okay I'm going to use the good old suitcase right here. As I said, I have close to 50 pounds in here. I showed you the little graphics up there. Right now, I'm not going to put the camera close because I want to give myself a little bit of room to show you the exercise live. So what I'm going to have the client do, if this is Mrs. Jones, is Mrs. Jones, our first exercise. And, and remember, we already sent this to Mrs. Jones yesterday. She knows she needs a suitcase 
packed full of books or whatever she has that's going to weigh as much as she can physically handle. And we, as the fitness professional, as her or his coach, should know what that load is. Okay, this is as much as I can get in here. I can't pack it up with anything else. It won't close. So, so I'm going to start with my get into a squat, flip it over, go right into a push up. That's one, two, three. So, Mrs. Jones, if we're teaching Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, that's going to be your first exercise. I want you to do 12 of these. Given the amount of room that you have to play with, okay, if you have, if your client, has a giant hallway and they can do the 12 continuous flips do the 12 continuous flips if they've got a little short area like i have here in the office i'm gonna move i'm gonna probably do one push up i'm gonna do two push up then i'm gonna turn back around the other side and this way push up and back until i get my 12. easiest thing we can do with that okay second exercise we have on this is gonna be a suitcase clean and next next week when we get into a couple other workouts i'm going to do a couple more things with the suitcase clean so i like getting the suitcase right here handle up i'm going to get down and again there's a little bit of power going on here you got to jerk it up what am i working with lats lower back hamstrings everything is powering it up and i'm bringing you right here and back down okay boom back down can everybody see this okay? Yes. Okay, I'm making sure. I'm making sure. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Oh. I want to make sure everybody can see this well. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Dynamic, build the form. Now we get to work. Now, Mrs. Jones, exactly what you're going to have to do with Mrs. Jones. Let's, let's so speed up right to the uh, straps. Just like I said on the PowerPoint, the reason I have these bicep and these tricep exercises right after these suitcases is because during these suitcase movements, we're already kind of involving the, the triceps on that push-up. We're involving the bicep on that on that jerk off. That's all four on bicep boom until it gets here, of course, with the assistance of the back and core muscles. And while I'm holding it here, it's also isometrically triceps. So we're already hitting bicep and tricep a little bit. Boom, let's follow it up on the suspension. And then let's let all that upper body rest and tackle the lower body. That's why this is a great full body workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera up a little bit and I'm gonna actually caddy corner it. So if you all follow me with that, bring the camera over here. I wanna put it on the side because I wanna make sure everybody can see the way that I'm performing these movements. So bicep curl. This is how I've got my suspension system secure. I'm gonna move the camera a little bit back this is why I recorded today. That way we don't go through all this stuff in the middle of the live uh, version of it. So in order for me to do my bicep curls, I've got to get a nice secure position here. And this is how I'm going to go. Let me turn the camera just a little bit more. And this is exactly what you're going to have to do with Mrs. Jones. If you're showing him or her, you've got to be able to look at yourself in that camera and know exactly what the client is looking at, which is what I'm doing right here. I'm making sure all of you can see my head. So elbows up. I'm pulling to the sides of my ear. I'm not doing this and here because then I'm working the back. I want to let the back relax right now because we already did enough, did enough upper body with the suitcase. So bicep curls right here to the side, lower myself under control, pull under control. If I want to make it harder with suspension, it's very, very simple. All I've got to do is stand in a more aggressive position. Boom. And now I have a whole lot more of my body weight into you know, that resistance factor going on. So from there, we turn around. We said we had triceps going on here. All I'm going to do is face away from the unit, keep my arms straight out here. Again, handles to the side of my ears, push it away. Handles to the side of my ear, push it away. Can't get any better than that. If I want it more aggressive, again, I step further back and we can get very, very, very aggressive or we can get very, very light as needed. Now, the other movements coming up, I'm going to get the camera in another position here so everybody can see the movements that I've got coming up. We're going to go ahead and use only one of the straps. Now, the way we use this strap when we're going to use this movement is we're going to be facing away from it. And we're going to make sure that this little orange part is facing that way, away from you. And we're going to slide the foot 
right in here, like this, that foot's hanging in the air. So we're technically going to perform a split squat. Split squat, I'm gonna be standing right here, that back leg's gonna come back. Notice that my front knee, and I'm gonna rest for a second to, to you know, speak and demonstrate. Notice that my front knee is not going over the toe. That back knee is right under my hip. We don't wanna be so far up here with this leg that we're all extended and you're just, you know, overstretching the psoas and the rectus femoris. So get in a position where when we descend back into this, front knee's not over the toe, back knee is aligned with the hip and the shoulder, and we come. Guys, just like I'm saying in that video, make sure when you're getting your clients in this position, you explain to them, and I'm gonna fast forward here and get back into it. Make sure we explain to them why we're putting the foot into that strap the way you're putting the foot into that strap. Uh, you know, comments that I've heard through the years when working with a lot of these strap systems uh, is, ah, one strap's the same, I just stick my foot in there. But we have to really, really pay attention to dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. So look at, really look and look at the way the that I've got my foot in there right now. My, my, my toe is not facing towards the door, which would be plantar flexion. My toe is actually, you know, as far as I can pull it in, in towards me, in towards my knee. That's what keeps the body in, in safe positions, especially all those ankle muscles and the tibialis anterior. And those are little things that as trainers, we need to, you know, we need to be able to show clients. Uh, so let me go ahead and hit play here again. That back knee is right under my hip. We don't want to be so far up here with this leg that we're all extended and you're just, you know, overstretching the psoas and the rectus femoris. So get in a position where when we descend back into this, front knee's not over the toe, back knee is aligned with the hip and the shoulder, and we come right up. So this is what it looks like here. Boom. This is what it looks like here. Boom. And notice my back foot. I don't have it plantar flexed. I have it dorsiflexed. Why? We want to keep the ankle muscles in a secure, tight position. We want to keep that tibialis anterior tight. We generally don't perform anything in life or sport with that top of your foot on the ground like this. It just creates a lot of stress for those ankle muscles. So when we get done doing 12 of that exercise on each leg, where do we go from there? We're gonna go right down to the floor. So let me tilt the camera down just a little bit so that everybody can see the motion that we're gonna do here and the way that we're gonna put our feet into the straps. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome hamstring movement. And again, See how many movements I'm doing with one strap. This is why I love this type of equipment to train clients virtually and at home. And, you know, and it's something that I've seen all trainers around the world be able to really implement when doing this type of training, which is why I'm bringing it up here today. So last week was full body weight workout. This week we're using a suspension strap and a suitcase. Last exercise on here, putting my feet in a little bit differently. And again, you'll have all this on the PowerPoint. Putting my feet in like this. I'm going to lay down. And I know my head's cutting off a little bit here, but I want you to focus on this lower extremity going on here. I'm going to raise my hips off the ground, and I'm going to pull my feet in and back out. Notice I raise the hips up, and I pull simultaneously. Look at what my feet are doing. My feet are not staying in a dorsiflex position. My feet are now plantar flexed. So one, two three, and so forth until you perform the desired amount of reps that we are designing for this workout. So once again, what's the workout? Suitcase flip push-up. Get done with those. Suitcase clean, 12 on one side. Suitcase clean, 12 on the other. Capitalize that we've already hit the biceps and the triceps a little bit. And that's like some bicep curls out right here on the straps. Some triceps. And then from there, we hit lower train. So we'll hit that split squat, and then we'll turn around and we'll hit the hamstring. So guys, let's shut this off. Let's get back to the PowerPoint, and let's wrap up today's session with a little summary of everything we've seen at, and some more tips and some questions that all of you may have. Okay, so hopefully we're done with little glitches for the day. I'm hoping that's the case. <laughs> so questions, questions that, uh, that, that come in. Where do I get an SBT suspension exercise strap? Here it is, guys. SBTExtreme.com. 
that website is being updated to sbtstraps.com. So either one, it doesn't matter. Either one is going to take you to, to uh, either of the domains. It's all going to go to the same place. And this is the great deal that we were able to set up. As an NFPT certified trainer, you can now get a, a one-time 60% off. Why 60%? Because if you don't know how to use the product, it's going to be very, very hard for you to train somebody with it. So that's the incentive that we were able to set up. 60% off. Use the code NFPT-CPT. One time, you get 60% off. E either on the home model or the extreme model. Once you're on the website, it'll show you the differences of you know e what's each. And I'm also going to be making a little video for all of us to be able to understand what's the difference between the two models. Now comes the fun part. Once you have your one time 60% off, it's in the system. SBT knows that you know, you're a fitness professional and you already you know, got your strap. Now you can become an affiliate. What do affiliates do? You make money. So as an affiliate, now you can give all your clients who you're going to be training at some point or another in the gym, in a park, right now at home. And I think for the rest of our lives, this home training is, gonna, is going to now become a staple. Now your clients can get 40% off an SBT system and you'll earn a, a, an approximate $20 commission on the extreme models and a little bit less on the, on the home and travel models because they're a lot, a, a lot less on the, uh, on the price point. And, and that's as easy as we can get. So like Angie was saying, these are relationships that we're trying to build for all of you to not only give you the tools you need to train your clients at home, but to also give your clients a way, you know, to, to have an affordable price point uh, at the same time and not just end up going to the local sports store and buying whatever's there, which may not always be practical for the way we want to train our clients, if that makes sense. Okay. So that's, that's the nitty gritty on where to get the straps from. We'll, we will have it up uh, also, and I can bring that over really quick. Um, I'd like to mention for a second too, yeah, I was please. in, oh, I was in target the other day and noticed like every piece of home equipment or gym, uh, straps, or they don't have, you know, these kind of straps, but, um, it's all gone because people are wanting, or at least they're, and they're, they're trying to initiate some kind of home training for themselves. They figure from home, I'm going to work out. And, um, but this is where you bridge that gap because a lot of people are just going to Dick's Home Sporting Goods or Target or Walmart and buying these products and have no idea um, how to get the, the best workout from them, how to get the biggest bang for their buck. You know, they're just going to end up collecting dust in a corner um, because they don't have somebody uh, like a personal trainer like you who is demonstrating how to effectively use this in a way that actually gets them results. Um, so they're just using whatever thing they can find on a shelf. Um, this is next level, you know, and it will cost like just as much or less than what these, you know, people, you know, random people are going and buying from a shelf. Um, so that again, they don't know how to use. Um, so I don't know, just a thought because I was, I was surprised to I, see. I've heard that also. I've had, I've heard, I've heard a lot of trainers, you know, contact me and say, Felix, I'm trying to buy Jimmy equipment. Right. Everything is sold out. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. You know, so at least, you know, I know that SBT's got plenty of inventory and, you know, we can yeah. get it out. So. I mean, at least we know, too, that people are, I mean, their intention is to work out. Whether or not they're doing it um, is a whole nother story, you know. And they just feel better about buying something that they're saying, I'm going to use this, you know. But, again, I think that's where the human element comes in. They need somebody to say, hey, meet me on Zoom at this time. And we're going to use these straps. I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to do it and make them accountable. Otherwise, they got a bunch of random equipment or tools sitting in a corner somewhere, you know. So anyway, it just dawned on me when I was out and about, which uh, being out and about anymore is kind of a iffy thing. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of masks. A masks. lot of K, a lot of K and ninety five if you can get them. So. Yep. Yeah. So All anyway, right. what do we got for workout? Let's two? try. Let's try workout number two. Hopefully, this video plays smoothly if not you know we'll just we'll deal with it uh tools i got a laundry detergent bottle a staircase and a kitchen counter okay so if you don't have a staircase make the best of it maybe you have a step box at home uh you don't have a step box at home or something that's secure enough to go up and down on then don't go up this up and down the stairs uh hybrid it on the floor hybrid on flat ground. You don't have a kitchen counter. Uh, maybe you can get a sturdy chair, you know, think outside the box. I'm giving you ideas. So the way this workout goes here is we're going to start off with an upstairs climb 
while we hold that laundry detergent bottle overhead. On the way back down though, which is you know not in this little picture here, but you'll see it on the video, you're gonna come back down sideways with the leading leg being the leg that's holding the laundry detergent bottle up. And I'll, I'll narrate that as we, as we watch Mani go through this workout uh, that we did uh, at the house. Movement number two, so those same stairs, lunge two steps at a time all the way up, get a couple of squats at the top and then go back down backwards. So you'll see her doing that also. Movement number three is gonna be a push up. So here's a little clip part. There's a couple of ways to make it easier, harder. And uh, we'll see her do that from there going to one arm row. So in a nutshell, what are, what are we seeing? A classical full body circuit, just like in our NFPT manual, okay? Full body legs, chest, back. Nothing more, nothing less, because we're already working all the, all the little stabilizers at the same time. And last but not least, we're gonna get a little, uh, little bit of core going. Here, here's the workout already done on XFIT as I prepared it with the intensities and all that stuff. And hopefully we can get this video to play really, really smooth. And if not, we'll just pause it and play and, pause right. and, play and go from there. <laughs> I think it's more of a, more of a, you know, PowerPoint needing to open and shut down uh, issue today, which is, you know, of course, technology that we can't control. But anyway, here we have her, you know, and at worst case scenario, you will all have these videos as downloads in your NFPT account. So you can get in there later, you can see it, you can hit play, you can, you know, see it a million times if this gets a little bit choppy. I just want you to have an idea of how it goes, you know, going from clip art to visual. And, you know, like I was saying, look at the leg she's coming down the stairs with. The lead leg coming down is the same one as whatever hand is holding that laundry detergent bottle up. Uh, and that was actually a, that was actually a full pretty wiggly laundry detergent bottle there that, uh, you know, after that workout, the next day she said, you know what, I feel my shoulders and my upper traps, you know, from holding that damn laundry detergent bottle up, you know, during that video. And I was like, wow, okay, cool. You know, and so for a fit person telling me the next day, that little, that little instability and that added core uh, function there because of the, you know, liquid moving around in there adds, adds a nice little, uh, you know, plus to the movement. So that was up and down the stairs. Now we're going to see her go ahead and perform that lunge, you know, get rhythm of the laundry detergent, let those traps, let the rhomboids, let the shoulders rest a little bit. Let's get the uh, hamstring quads going there, which are already warmed up, uh, of course, from doing the walks. Get a couple of little squats at the top and then just lunge it backwards. You know, of course, always recommend that the client hold on to one of the two sides. I don't want somebody going backwards and, you know, they miss a step and they fall and then it was our fault. So, you know, safety first. Backwards is good because it's a part of life. We've got to walk backwards every now and then, you know? So if you don't get yourself accustomed and trained to do things in backwards motion and sideways motions, then, then what happens again? We become dysfunctional for life. So I, I like always making sure that when we're working out, we're trying to uh, train our clients in all planes of motion and in all directions. You know, we don't just, we shouldn't just always train forward, you know, backwards and sideways are part of sport. And sometimes life, life becomes a sport when you drop your backpack on the floor and you got to, you know, then dig down with the other hand and pick it up and your kid goes flying the other way. So being able to train in all angles really, really helps from pulling muscles later when these things do happen in real life. Uh, like we just saw her, she did a really easy push up where the upper body was higher than the lower. All we're doing now is transitioning to make it harder where the lower body's um, higher uh, than the upper body, increasing the intensity on there. Uh, so again, you know what the strength level of your client is, adjust it as needed. You know, here, this is just ideas on how to make do with stuff we have at home. Next exercise on here, fourth exercise, a one-arm row. You know, great, uh, great, you know, little position in this, you know, specific house layout here, which is not, not too uncommon for, for a lot of the uh, buildings that are around the country these days. Most townhomes are set up not, not too differently from this. So this may be something that's uh, pretty practical for most. And as you can see there, you know, we changed it up, up a little bit. And she did uh, the second half of that movement with one leg up here. Both legs are on the ground. That's real easy. No instability, not too much instability. We want to make it harder. Get a little bit higher on that on those stairs and raise one of the legs up. You know, either either of the legs can be raised up, but of course, if we raise up the leg that's on the pulling side, 
then it's going to really be unstable. So, you know, progress it accordingly. And last but not least here, now we fit all the three major muscle groups. Biceps and triceps are working there already because they're the little guys that are helping. Now we just hit a little bit of core, take a breather, rest, and repeat it all over again. So here we go. This is the easy version of that oblique, you know, core twist. And if we want to make it harder, all we do is, you know, get up on the feet rather than the knees. And then if you're stable enough on feet and elbows, then you can even progress it one more like she's going to do right now and get on the hand. And now we've got a really challenging uh, twist going on right there. Side plank with a oblique twist. Make it a little bit sore. Make, make it a little bit sore tomorrow. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. So let's get out of here. Let's keep moving to... Um, to the next slide. And Angie, I want to bring you back in because I'm, I'm yeah. going to be talking about platforms, uh, which is my specialty, finding platforms for uh, all of us to be able to use the acquired education. And that's mm -hmm. where I want to start, the education. What is our education on nutrition? We've had tons of questions coming in. Yeah. And of course, we've got the fitness nutrition specialist program uh, you know, on our NFPT website. Uh, and and mm -hmm. of course, uh, we got a great promo code going out through the end of May. So Angie, give us a little bit about that and then I'll bring Dr. Yeah. over and explain how the how the two things, you know, kind of form synergy with one another yes. and how all of our trainers can get those CCs. Yes, thank you. Um, so with the nutrition course, it's the fitness nutrition specialty course. It does give you a specialty certificate and creden credential that expands on your scope of practice. Um, and with the arrangement um, and this collaboration with DotFit, uh, you are completely set and can use your learning from, through the course and your credential through the course, coupled with um, the DotFit Ambassador Elite membership um, that gives you access to uh, the platform that they use, which is completely legally defensible. It's built by dietitians and nutritionists. So um, it's a great marriage of sorts, just like exercise and nutrition is. We know um, that one doesn't go well without the other or that they balance each other out. You, can, you can't ex out exercise a bad diet. So um, it is important that you're able as a personal trainer to give nutrition advice. I mean, at least at the basic ground level of that. Um, and with these credentials, you're just taking it to that next level. Uh, you're, you're offering more than just the very basic foundation or fundamentals uh, to your clients. So you're able to also be, um, defend yourselves legally um, if ever needed not that that's a something that you should you should need to do but um, but it does cover ground there and through the end of May so I don't know when you're watching this but this is May 31st 2020 through the end of this month uh, you'll be able to get a 50% off of the nutrition course by just using the promo code webinar2 now we know that some of you have already purchased the course prior to this webinar. And so we don't wanna leave you out of the promotion um, and of those savings. So if you did purchase the nutrition course in the months of April or March, just be in touch with us. And what we'll do is we'll offer you a free CE course of your choice. So any other course that you would like to take, we have so many of them um, to choose from. So just let us know which one you'd like to take and we will um, give you one of those for free to say, hey, we're wanting to give you the savings too. So uh, we know that uh, financially times can be tight right now. Um, so we're wanting to help you in any way possible. And with that, I'll segue into the dot fit conversation because this is a way for you to supplement your income as well um, and while you're expanding on your scope of practice. So Felix. All right. So let me bring our website up. Here we are. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go right back to the start. I want to keep, you know, rehearsing this on, you know, right top corner, online virtual training and fitness programs. Let's go right where we are today. And if I follow this back down, here's DotFit right here. So team, if we click on this link right here, it's going to give you, you know, all the information in a nutshell, you know, a lot of, you know, more expansion on everything that Angie uh, just said, the history behind DotFit and all that good stuff. But uh, something that I've learned through the years, both being a trainer, uh, working, you know, and running the workshops for us and everything is that clients are always going to have one specific question that seems to kind of be married to the training. What do I eat? When do I eat it? What supplement do I take? What do you recommend? What do you take? And they, you know, the client will basically 
duplicate everything we do. If, if my trainer's doing this, then I will do it also. Uh, and that just leads, you know, it, it's common sense. If you are the motivator, if you are, you know, the person that the client is looking up to, uh, and they are already going to ask us for the advice, then it, it makes perfect sense to align yourself like Angie just said, in a legally dispensable position to stay within our scope of practice and at the same time be able to offer the clients that are going to ask you regardless, what do I eat, what do I buy, where is it, the right source of information so that we don't just, well, you know, I, you know we, we want to cut the gray areas out. So this is what, we, what we've got set up. Get your DotFit Elite membership. After you get your DotFit Elite membership, and I'll go right here really quick. That's going to take you, you know, join DotFit, get in here, start making money. And guys, this, this is a platform, you know. You have it complimentary right now. There are no subscriber fees through June 15th. No strings attached. You don't like it, cancel it. Now, what do subscriber fees mean? It, it, listen, if you're going to use the platform and you're going to make money, they need to probably make a little bit of money too because they got to pay the light bill. I think it's 9 or 10 bucks a month. I pay my own subscriber fees. Remember, guys, I, I train people also. I don't just practice and, you know, give out all this advice. I, I still train people whenever I am at home, whenever I'm in my office. I have a lot of athletes that I train, and I have some people that do come to the office. And I'll tell you what, I you know, just out of, out of you know, coincidence, I got my – and see if I can get this up on the screen here. What does that say up there? Can everybody read the screen, or is it – Blurry. It looks blurry. It looks a little bit okay. Dot is that fit, your dot, dot fit check? Okay, that's my dot fit check. You know what? And it's not a lot of money. It's two hundred and seventy-seven bucks. You know, but something like that comes in monthly. And you know, at, like I've always said, at the end of the day and at the end of the year, every little every little bit that you can stick in that toolbox in the bank account as revenue, it, it adds up. You know, so hey, two hundred and fifty, three hundred bucks a month at the end of the years you know, three or four grand, you know, it, it helps, you know, and it's something that mm -hmm. I don't have to pay attention to every day. I already introduced these clients that I train, these athletes, you know, I, I practice a lot, of the, a lot of the sport of triathlon. And when I'm out riding my bike, you know, I get to chat with a lot of the other guys that ride bike with me. And they ask me, they see what I'm drinking in my water bottle, you know, and they ask me what I'm going to go home and eat after. And, and, I, and I educate them, guys, I drink this because ABC. And next thing you know, well, can can I drink that? Well, you know, the only way for you to drink that is by me, you know, making you a member of, you know, my platform, and then you can go ahead and purchase it. And that's how I get this little check, you know? So if I'm getting this little check, guys, and I don't train uh, people like you all do, because that's your full-time job. My full-time job is research, traveling, educating, marketing, and, and running, you know, this department. Uh, for those of you that are full-time trainers, the potential is huge. So what is DotFit? Let me bring DotFit really quick, and I'm going to cover this a whole lot more uh, next week when we, or, or next couple of weeks when we get our other meeting up. DotFit is a platform. It's a legally defensible platform that once you become an elite member, you're going to have the opportunity to take a course. It's, it's all pre-recorded. It's very interactive. I've taken the course myself. I think, I don't know, my DotFit, you know, practitioner, some here on this wall. Uh, but it is a course that's made by registered dietitians for you to understand supplements, how important they are, how to recommend them, uh, and most importantly, you know, what clients should not be taking any supplements. So there's a very stringent medical questionnaire that anybody that you would work with has to fill out that's going to tell you. I mean, red flags are going to come up. And this is part of what you learn going through the practitioner course based on what people answer. It's much more than a part Q. It's like, you know, a super, super duper duper part Q, but aimed at nutrition questionnaire coming from the medical resources. So it's really, really good. Uh, in a nutshell, you know, because I, I want to make sure everybody can get back to what they're doing today. When we get into this type of program uh, team, just like I said, which one of your clients is not going to ask you, what do I take to burn fat? Should I have a protein powder? Is there anything I should take in between? What about this? What about that? You know, so if we already know that and our, our industry position without 
the education standpoint, which is what Angie brought in first, and then being able to offer a platform to go with it is not there, then you really, you know, then you're really stuck by saying, look, Mrs. Jones, I'm sorry, it's, I, I don't have the, the backing, the credentials to help you with that. You're just going to have to, I don't know, wing it with GNC or something, you know, uh, which is what, what, I, what I did for years, you know, un, until we, be, we continue to get educated. So this is an example, you know, these are the products and all that stuff. Uh, and of course, uh, what, when, you know, what your position would be is your clients are going to get 40% off as part of the elite program. You're going to get a 15% profit sharing, you know, check at the end of the month. So, you know, like, like Joel, who I brought in, uh, in our initial meeting, explained to everybody, uh, after Ju June or 15th or whatever that cutoff date was, yeah, there, there's an association fee. I pay nine or 10 bucks a month for mine. Uh, why does it not bother me to pay nine or 10 bucks? Because I'm making a whole lot more of that in return. I'm making 250, 300 a month on stuff that I'm not doing every day. It's just like passive income. Um, so those are all my little 15% profits from all these athletes that I ride bike with and race in triathlon with and, and stuff that have come, you know, to learn what I use when I'm training and now they're using it. Um, so guys, that's, that's the thing. So if you're making more than $9 a month, obviously you're going to keep your membership because you're making money. If you figure out, you know what, this didn't work for me, then at least you tried it. At least you learned it. You know, it's there. You got the practitioner's education. You're able to, you know, get your CECs by completing the NFPT fitness specialist. And, and you made something out of it at the very mm -hmm. least. Uh, but, you know, honestly, I, I don't know one fitness professional to date um, that I've worked with anyway, that hasn't been able to get great benefit out of this platform just because it's the only legal defensible platform for trainers on the planet. And, and that really makes it a huge plus, And that's why we partnered up with them. Um, and you want to yeah. get anything here in closing for today? Uh, well, I'll go hit a few frequently asked questions um, because Please. I know from last time we talked a little bit about uh, liability insurance for virtual online training. So I just wanted to make sure that I covered that again briefly, that you are covered. Um, now, I know that to be 100% true for NFPT trainers who have liability policies with CPH and Associates. Um, they're the insurance company that we partnered with to provide you discounts on liability insurance. And uh, there's some more information about that at the nfpt.com slash business URL or right from that resources URL again um, and at nfpt.com in the main menu. Uh, we put everything that we talk about um, in that or on that page. So that's dot fit, hex fit, SPT suspension straps, um, the insurance information, uh, everything can be found. Yeah, Felix is showing you now right from the trainer resources and then right there. So, so online training, uh, and you can go right to any of the webinars that you missed um, or upcoming webinars. I'm excited for our next one. Um, but this one here, like the first, if you'll look at, oh, right, and keep scrolling a little, right there, uh, summary of Q&As. Um, you can click on that. You're going to find even more information about the frequently asked questions that um, we field after these webinars. So one of those was insurance. So yes, you are covered. If you're not, if you're not insured by our partner um, insurance company, then just make sure you give your insurance company a quick call. Uh, so just to be 100% sure. We also have the question, what happens when gyms start opening again? We saw that they are starting to do that. Um, so, and that the, there, we are reopening in phases. We're gonna cover that in the next webinar. Um, and that would be webinar three of this series, by the way. And you can get, last but not least, you are getting CECs for these webinars for participating, whether in real time uh, or coming back to them later. And you just take a brief little quiz inside your um, NFPT account. And we all will email you all of this information, or you can find a link from this page too to the CE quiz. But you do get a point two credit for watching, learning, and, uh, and growing with us. Uh, keep in mind that we're all growing, we're all evolving, we're being stretched at this time, but with that comes you know, more flexibility. It comes, an, it comes an understanding of things that we didn't even give any thought to before. So we are being stretched, but it's really ultimately for our own good. I don't think that there's anything good about 
um, this virus and this COVID-19 thing, it makes our heads all wanna explode if we have to hear any more about it. Um, but it is something that, you know, through um, a tragedy or through uncertainty, we, that's when we learn, uh, that's when we grow. That's how we get stretched is through the struggle. So that's what we're doing now. Um, and we're learning and growing together. We really are in this together. So stay positive, uh, stay safe and well. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Our webinar uh, number three in this in this series for uh, personal training for tips on how to come out on top. It's going to be May the sixth. That's 2020. Again, I don't know when you're watching this, but if you uh, aren't watching this in time to join us live, come back to the page and you can find us there. Felix, I'm done. Best All right. <laughs> have a great one. Stay safe, and we will see you on the next one. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.